Hi guys, I've received a parcel today and I can't really remember what it is. So let's just open it up. Looks like someone is having cinnamon tuberose for breakfast. Never tried these. my breakfast um, let's get to the let's go to the meaty bit should be somewhere in here I hope this is a safe cut oh, a lot of cell tape a lot of snowflakes in here but let's see it comes out oh, here comes some one thing two things three things That's it. So, a bag full of styrofoam, non degrading one. Let's put this to the side and then bubble wrap with a lot of brown sticky tape. It's just a nightmare to, get to open when it's stuck on sellotape. I don't think all that sellotape is necessary. Okay, that's what people do these days. Oh, and I see here something very familiar is coming out here. Just straight from the bin, if I'll use this, I need more cellar tape here. To be a bit more careful now as we're approaching the more delicate parts of the pa package. Please, people, if anybody sees this, See how difficult it is to get brown cellar tape or bubble wrap? Just don't put, put it all on. Wow! And then what have we got here? So we've got one, two, almost immaculate uh, Lima Class 81, 85 Bobos. What else have we got here? Well, this could be exciting because I now remember, I think I bought four, lo uh, four locos or so from this an auction on eBay and I'm not sure whether they were sold as spares or repair or not, but I think they were they were spares or repair and I'm always intrigued to find out whether these are really spares or repairs. But once we've managed to get through this thick layer of cello tape. Oh wow, another one. Uh, offer missing for at first inspection, otherwise, looks still very nice. Let's go, let's head straight for the third one, uh, the last one. Ooh. As I said, please, less cell tape. Let's just put the paper around the bubble wrap, but don't put all this bubble wrap on it because I mean, it's gonna happen when you take them out. Oh, this has come to box, so it's even better if something comes in a box. It's always very promising when something comes in a box. Probably don't need my knife anymore now, so before I cut myself, I put it to the side. Oh, but one part of the box is missing, the lid is missing of this box, anyway. So, almost complete. So, we've got here three locos, four, sorry, four locos, a lot of snow for, my, for a snow. <laughs> for a snowy diorama. And let's see whether these are working. The everything to the track. I've now connected a track to this. The inner track has now power. Let's take some let's clean some snow here. All the snow has to go. And I show put the first loco, which is this beautiful lemon. Looks really nice. Mm, I think the spring here is not quite in the right position. This looks now a bit better. Okay, so it's only one motorized. Interesting. 
strange things. We've got pickups on two sides and only one mo motor. This may be challenging and interesting. Let's see what this machine produces if put on the track. So it's putting heat on the inner track. And let's see what it works. There's nothing happening, okay. No movement at all. Mm. Okay, local number one is not working. Let's move on on to local number two. Bit of a narrow radius, the first radius of Flashman. But the loco is working. Well, so maybe not the not the one we call a perfect runner, but there is some life in this loco, which I find quite promising. Probably just needs a little bit of uh, brush cleaning of the brushes, so this one is working. And last but the second one of these, let's see whether this one is working. This one is not working. Last but not least, this little shunter here. I wonder if this is a carter or not. Or no, it's an Arnold Rapido. It's uh, quite dirty here, you can tell. So it needs a good clean, but everything is present. The buffers are here. It's a beautifully little diesel shunter. Let's see where this one. It's a nice little heavy machine as well. I assume it needs, presumably, it needs some weight. Some, I think something is shunting the system here. Yeah, so the. It's working a bit, but they're all a bit. Seems to be a bit tired. Hello. Yeah. Not an ideal situation. So, in the next video, I will show you how I clean the wheels of this little loco in order to make it run smoothly over my tracks. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.